Agriculture is a key sector in the Palestinian economy, especially in its contribution to sustainable development. And the cooperative sector is also an important development model, which contributes to social justice and sustainable development through its potential for job creation and equitable distribution of wealth. No country has developed without a thriving agricultural sector, and Palestine will not be an exception. More than 68% of the households in the Gaza Strip are severely or moderately food insecure, and the figure for the West Bank is 11.6%. The group ages for the workers in these cooperatives is between 15 to 29 yoth which they own only 4% of the total holding. The labor force in the youth workers in the Palestinian agricultural sector has declined from 59% before 1936 to around 32% in the 1980s to 104 in 2014 and about 6.2% in 2018. The Palestinian cooperative movement started since 1920. The importance of cooperatives, and in particular youth organized ones, lies in being a tool for liberation development from neoliberal policies, promoting resilience and steadfastness on the land. As youth cooperatives provide a model for work, creativity and innovation that work to enhance collective thinking, create an environment for work and creativity, exchange of knowledge and expertise, and permanent learning, in addition to being an economic model that potentially creates jobs for the young people and improve their economic conditions. The PA policies and regulations reflect their orientation towards supporting the private sector and reinforcing the free neoliberal market. Also, the PA has not given enough attention to the agriculture sector to encourage youth agriculture cooperatives to be as an alternative to the neoliberal economic model. In addition, the agricultural cooperatives, including the youth ones, are facing many challenges, such as the high cost of the inputs, including water, equipment, PA policies and the tax laws, the bureaucracy of the CWA, the lack of protectionist policies for local products, and the weak understanding of cooperative culture. The lack of experience in managerial and financial matters also stand out. Other challenges include the high risk in the agricultural sector and the marketing problems due to the high competition from Israeli products. However, in order to encourage youth agricultural cooperatives to be an alternative to the new liberal economic model, there are many steps that can be taken to amend these difficult conditions that agricultural cooperatives are going through, the most important of which are summarized by the following recommendations. Support to the agricultural sector through increasing allocated budgets, revisiting the tax regime on the agricultural sector and looking into farmer and cooperatives friendly taxation system as well as the potential for subsidies reforming the cooperative registration process so that it encourages youth to set up and register cooperatives and increase awareness of youth as to become more involved in the agricultural sector highlighting the importance of agricultural work through community awareness campaigns with a focus on targeting youth and young women motivating youth to invest in farming while working with credit institutions and the private sector to provide them with the needed services for these young people, giving particular focus on technical aspects and extension.